So we are interior designers and most of our work involves handcrafted textures and traditional processes. Of course, the processes are very, very uh, laborious, but intensely gratifying because of the pivotal role the Karigar plays. We also look to achieving a certain timelessness in all our projects. As a part of our endeavor to achieve timelessness and use handmade processes, Bharat Florings perfectly fits the bill. In fact, we've known of them before we even approached them for Pali Village Cafe. I've seen their work uh, being used in restoration projects across Bombay. In fact, who doesn't know them? And who hasn't seen their flooring at some point in time? But since then, we've been, we've used them at almost all our projects, if not each and every one. Bharat Floors has been our go-to place for enduring stunning floors. We use their flooring across most of our projects, but we also read the fine print to our clients. We advise them on how to maintain them, and we also try and explain to them that if you are looking for something that is going to be so elegant and take you, you know, through your entire life and maybe pass down generations, there is a small price to pay. Not to say that the flooring is delicate, no ways. I mean, it's, it's very easy to use and uh, we have seen it age very gracefully over time. But that is the point of heritage flaws. And if you want a piece of that, well, I mean, this is the best thing to do. I think our visiting card with their fleur de -lis pattern as our watermark. I mean, it's really a joke in our studio. We could well be stakeholders in their company because the amount of variations we have used of that pattern is unfunny. But over time, we have also used a uh, their newer designs and floorings but yes I mean they have been an integral part of my design and I think I have been a part of theirs too. To this I must add Bharat Floorings today has gone where it has because of Firdos Varyava. I mean he has taken it to a completely new level and I think for me for us he is the face of the brand. We were always very hung up on their traditional art deco tiles and we have used all their traditional designs, be it Pali Village Cafe, Pali Bhavan and the Nutcracker. Lately, we've also used their Chevron range, which is monochromatic, and uh, the new origami tile, which is designed by the Bus Ride Studio. This new place called the British Brewing Company, since we had this very English feel in mind, Stamp Concrete, their cobble floor, which is a part of their Stamp Concrete collection, was just the perfect answer. And uh, we tried to get them to make it as thin as possible to kind of use indoors and not make it very wobbly for people walking over it. The Shibori by Shunali Mahajan uh, was again an, I mean, a beautiful example of what you can do with their flooring and how, how versatile it is and how you can actually have so many other uh, variations and colors and you know, fields and cultural fields within that flooring. Even C and Pascal came up with a very interesting uh, range for them. So I think they have also in turn diversified. They have been able to experiment with a lot more designs. And today I can't say I really have a personal favorite any longer because they surprise me each and every time. I think one way to describe Bharat floorings in a nutshell would be to call them culturally relevant. For a company that is so deeply rooted in their heritage and uh, cultural uh, uh, processes, they have been able to over the years diversify and evolve to appeal to a very contemporary mindset. And that says a lot.